Okay. Now, it shouldn't be freezing. Are y'all okay? Thanks to Boo, 50,000 people just logged off for his little freezing internet chat. Okay. Um, I want to go live with one person, somebody who I'm, who I love dearly. Um, and I'm ready now. I'm ready now. I'm ready now. No. Now, Tay, how do I add my baby? How do I add? Okay, thank you, Big B's. Yeah, that was, that was Booth shit fucking up, y'all. That wasn't my shit. Booth was fucking up with all his craziness. So, I want to go live with someone. And then also, I was texting. That's why it wasn't, um, that's why I was freezing too, y'all. So, don't worry about it. So, how do I do it? Who you want to L-I-L. You just click on my name. But if, no, I'll. his page and add him mm -mm. They got oh, oh. your your phone to your screenshot okay now i told the person who i want to keep on commenting so let's see now in the meantime when i'm waiting for that this this is this is why this this live is very important to me and i want to i just i have to be very 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 fucking clear i tweeted the other day or i don't know if i tweeted or it was um a po it was on live or what I, how i said this but i was like you know what everything everything i say oh they must have seen him because but i don't see him Yeah, where my baby at? Cause I don't see that. I don't see him commenting. Where my boo at? Is he commenting? He, he did. Mm -hmm. All right. So help me. He's up. Okay. I I see it. I see it. I see it. Hold on. I'm getting it. Very important. But I'ma finish the story when when my baby, when I get my baby. You sure it's all the way up there? Yeah, so Tay is looking for the comment so that I can add my baby, the love of my career. I gotta be careful what I say, Chad. I'm married. Um, okay, so the other day I was on live and or tweeted or something and I said, everything I say is I say it for a reason. And everything I don't say, I don't say it for a reason. Um, I know that to a lot of people, everything is so, you know, black and white. Um, you know, especially with females. Um, um, and sometimes I saw one of my fans comment to someone on Twitter and they were like, one thing about Nikki, if you tell her to do something, she's not going to do it. And she's not going to, you know, feel forced into anything. Um, but it's more to that. It's, it's not about feeling forced because, you know, I love my fans to death. And if my fans tell me or suggest something, I don't mind listening. Right. But. But how come they see his comment and I don't? I can look on here, too. You don't see it. Who the fuck is trying to go live with me, child? Some random that. Uh, uh. Um. So, so the my, so anyway. So with women, I think because some of the mistakes I may have made in the past made people feel like they can. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. Hi, baby. Hey, Nick. <laughs> uh, you so ex how are you honey <laughs> don't laugh at me every single time you know you do this every time you see me within two minutes you laugh at me right I'm laughing because I don't know what I'm doing with this uh, this uh, 
whatever it's called. Live. Well, I brought you on here because this is a queen radio. My fans, did, my fans didn't know I was giving them, oop, I was giving them a, a queen radio today. Just uh -huh. not come down my nose, y'all. Uh -huh. You can see me? I can see you. Claire, can you see me? Yeah, I didn't know we could see each other. It's crazy. <laughs> he said, I know we could see each other. Yes. But listen, I, I'm giving my fans an impromptu queen radio because I have some news that I want to share. One of the things is that my fans kept on asking me if I was going to do queen radio in a different place or a different outlet. So one of the things is, yes, it looks like I am going to be doing that. And I'm really excited be about it because I was able to be myself and in, on my terms, speak and do whatever the fuck I want to. Now with you, everybody knows how much I adore you. Thank I posted the complex list of best verses this year. And your verse on seeing green with me, you and Drake, shout out to Rap Caviar, your verse on seeing green, um, won, I think number five verse of the year so far, Wayne. Number five, they did like a, a countdown, I think of 100 or 20, I don't remember, but yours, um, <laughs> Drake, don't don't move. You better stay right there because you know you up next. Drake Drake is commenting on on, on the live tune sheet. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I don't know. so so your verse on seeing green won number the fifth best verse of the of the year so far. That sucks. <laughs> wow, because not one. Yeah, the fifth. What the hell? What? I said the fifth. What the hell? Well, out of like every rap verse released this year. I'm calling in every fucking rap verse that was released this year. Thank you. Well, I, I need my queen radio, my queen radio, uh, my, my bombs. I got to drop bombs because, see, this is the thing. When niggas talk they shit and when niggas is cocky, it's, it's cool. But when I get on my shit, I'm, I'm, I'm a bitch. I'm nasty. I know I'm the illest bitch that ever did this shit. But if I say that, Wayne, I like I, I like a, a, a nasty bitch. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> stop. So look. So my thing. So my thing is, you just heard it right here first. Wayne was like, "No, I should have been first because I'm I, I dropped the best verse of, the, of everybody." Yes, thank you. But I do have to ask you. The million dollar question. Now it's two million dollar questions and you gotta answer both. Number one is about business. Number two, hey. Which one you want first? I ain't know what number two is about. Huh? What number two is about? It ain't about business. Okay, okay, okay. Well, uh, let's go with number one and business first. Okay. Number one is are you surprised that the seeing green verse, and not only the seeing green verse, but every verse you've been dropping recently, I don't know if you've been paying attention because I know you don't get two shits, but that they've been getting like critical acclaim and everybody's been like, yo, what the fuck is, you know, why, what Weezy been on? Like, why, why is he sounding like this? You know what I'm saying? And before that song had came out, I said that without anyone saying that. I was like, oh my God, I almost, you know, was scared to get on it because I'm like, why he like, they both sound like they on some next shit. Is that uh, unexpected for you when you've been in the game all these years for this year out of nowhere? People is like, yo, what, what's, what, what kind of crack is he putting in his verses and why and how? Um, it's, uh, I don't say, I mean, everything is, everything is unexpected. Uh, every single, every single emotion, every single reaction I get from anyone, any listener, any observer, any, any, any observer um, of my music, uh, of what I do. Every every single reaction, every single word they utter is unexpected because I have no expectations to it. I'm I'm thinking them even giving it a, a listen, but uh, as them, what am I am I doing anything different? No, I mean I I think it's just what it is. Is I think it's people not hearing people not hearing. You know, you get used to hearing a certain a certain type of music, and there's a certain type of music that's that we are all accustomed to hearing right now at, as a, as the times and. A verse like seeing green, a song like seeing green, and these other. I've I've been taking the approach of whenever I'm getting the opportunity um, to do a feature, 
um, for, for um, with other artists, and I thank every single one of them and everyone that's involved with involving me. But um, I'm, I'm approaching it different. I used to approach it like, uh, you know, like if you send me a song and whatever your melody is on your song or whatever the bop is on your song, I was, I'm going to go there. With, I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to make sure you're, I'm going I'm to do what you did on the song and what you, hopefully what you was expecting. Mm -hmm. But then there was a, you know, there was a moment back in, at, at a time where I was doing people features and it wasn't, it was like around the time when I was, when I did stuff like Soldier for uh, Destiny's Child and stuff like that. I was approaching those songs with just, nah, I'm just going to be me. I'm just going to do, I want to be the best Wayne. And like, I told, I almost sometimes forget the subject of the song. I have to remember that, boy, they're talking about soldiers on the song. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know? right. So, so now I think I started taking that approach again, just probably getting a little too, I, I mean, I, I, the, yeah, whoever the songs were, their ideas. I don't know, but why I can't hear Wayne right now? I can't hear you, Wayne. I can't hear you for some reason right now. Why? I can't hear, I can't hear you. Is it the mic? Cause I see a little mic. Oh, did he mute it? I don't know. Um, <laughs> the goat won't be silenced. Um, Okay. So he's he's gonna try to um he's gonna try to kinda there he goes. Oh shit. But can you guys hear me? Yeah, go. Okay. I'm sorry. No, nah, that's us. We just me and you, we just two dinosaurs. We don't know shit about this city. <laughs> we just were. I'll be like <laughs> Okay, what was the last part of what you said? So I was saying, I was saying. So like I said, I fall once I got to got got my mind stayed into that uh, that, that 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 area that that puts that com that comfort zone again to where it's just man, give it to me. I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna make the most of my my opportunity. And also, shit, Nick, I'm at a point in my career to where I'm just so thankful for every damn thing, every single piece, every second of it. So when I get a when that when Mac hit me up and be like, uh, send me like four features, <laughs> four features at one time. He liked to do that. He liked to let them pile up and then send on the why. But uh, so when he sent me like four features, I'd be so thankful that the person, whoever the person the song for, that they they consider me. Shit, I look at it like a, a job interview. So and I need I, I need a job. So. Well, I. I'm glad that you said that. I can identify as a rapper where a lot of times I'll take the person's flow just yeah. so I feel like so I feel like I'm not going against it and I'm not like showing out and shit. Mm -hmm. But you're absolutely right. When I first started, I didn't give a fuck about nobody else blowing a storm. I just wanted to be crazy and I was ha having so much fun. I would yeah. just say whatever the first thing that came to my head and just bug the fuck out. So I understand exactly what the fuck you're talking about. Um but but you're the you I hate to say you're the goat because the word is so overused now but but in three words or less what does how does it feel 
to know you inspired ev like this whole entire generation in three words give me what that shit feels like when you look at people and you see a little bit of you and so many people not that they've mastered it and no one ever will i'm just saying that you could tell they okay. was like you know three words yes the absolute best that's how it feels okay now i got this question and on queen radio you can't not answer nothing I ain't, I'm, I cannot answer anything that you ever asked me. You already know that. So the other day, it was some tweets going on. And I was like, oh, what's going on? And I had I texted you. And I was like, oh, congratulations. I can tell you've been in a good mood. You've been <laughs> so yeah. happy lately. And I said, congratulations. Because I thought you had gotten married. No, that's why I'm so glad you asked me. I did not get married. And first of all, I was I said the Carters. And girl, that's my damn sons. My that's my sons' little name of their little group. Ooh. <laughs> it was too mad. <laughs> it was too mad. Yikes. Um, <laughs> um people definitely was keep people definitely was, was giving you congratulations to, for getting married, Chad. They they were too upset, so they added boys to their shit now. So now they're the Carter boys instead of the Carters. So your sons are rapping? Amongst each other. Oh, okay. Friendly all right all right all right well i got it I, it was on what? my huh it was on my last mixtape oh now how old are they 12 11 11. ain't that around the same time you started doing shit i signed my contract at 11. i told baby i was 12. i thought i was i thought that was i thought that missed i thought it was a huge difference Twelve. You get twelve. Twelve. Okay. All right. So, uh, Tunchi, thank you for coming by. Um, I um I appreciate it. Drake. Please text. Please comment so I can add you, Drake. I need to I, answer, ask you two very important questions, Drake. Um, Wayne. Wayne, let yeah. me ask you something. When I used to be around in the past, you was like really like having a lot of sex. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, what is your favorite position? Uh, on top. In oh. like in any part of life, period. It's not just the bedroom, just just on top. I be forgetting he's so fucking smart, and then it's always a a, a double entendre and a triple entendre. <laughs> No, nah, but I, I, I can explain. When you're on top, you know you the the sound won't mess nothing, mess you up, now, Nikki. So when, when you no, on, my husband, no, my husband, no. But I, can I say what I wanted to say? Top, listen, when you're on top, when you're on top, you just lay it out. You just tell it, don't, don't stop, stop moving, stop moving, stop all that humping back, stop that. Why? Yeah, yeah, you. Still. But when it but when it starts feeling mad, mad good, you gotta hunt back. And first of all, no, wait, wait. Before you finish this, this is important, ladies. Listen. Wait, hold on. Let me say this first, Wayne. And you tell me how you feel as a guy. If the girl, ha if the girl legs can't go all the way up like that, to where the nigga could, you know, suck your toes while he on top, then you ain't doing it right. Okay, well, I'm not into that. Um... I don't know, but <laughs> <laughs> the toes. So you don't even want the bitch humping back. If that's what if that's where we at in the mo at, at the time, but I like I like the woman to just lay down and look up and look at me and be like and just to see the power that she have over me at such a moment. I just mm. like I mean, so that she, so a woman could be like, so damn, I'm just laying, I ain't humping back, I ain't doing nothing, and you feeling like this, I'm a powerful motherfucker. That's all, I just like a woman to know the power she has, possessed, so. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, but I had, before we go, I gotta, my, my people want to holler at you, hold up. How do this to us? But how do they see that? Hold it up. Okay, bang. bang. What's up, girl? Tunchi. Hi, little mama, who's this? Hello. Hi. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Nikki Minaj. Mm. 
right here. We, we, we just want to say hello. We hope everything's going awesome. Congratulations. See you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Why is that making me want to cry? She's so sweet and so cute. Perfect. Bye. <laughs> She said, she said you're the prince. She said you're the princess because she's the queen. <laughs> <laughs> she's also had a play date with her today. That's telling. I, that's the only person I follow on Instagram. Wow. Yeah, she's cool. We kicked it all day today, man. How old is she? Ten. Ten? Eight. Eight. Okay, okay, because you, you went out a little Eight. bit. Okay, Wayne, I got a lot of shit to do. I got some bitches to uh, put in their motherfucking plays. I got cocksucker of the day and year award to give out. So I love you to death. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everything you did for me. I always say it. I don't give a shit if you don't want me to say it or not. I love you, okay? I, lo Bye. I love you. Bye. Um, yo... It's good because I was about to X out of my um that little girl was so cute. Um, you know why I feel I feel like that now? I feel well, I always loved babies and children. But I think having a baby um makes you also you see your child in every child, you know, like it's weird it's weird. Um somebody said I'm here for the mess. Me too. Um so, oh right, because we got a lot. We got a lot of. We gotta get into some things. Um, I don't see champagne, Poppy, and I. And this is something very important that I do have to ask him. Um, but anyway, so listen. So, what? Somebody gonna say ask Drake about the no <laughs> um well Papa Bear is fine thank you he's right he's kind of close um he's so sweet and so precious and he's so smart and alert but he's so friendly and he um he he love he, he's a people person. Which I didn't know, you know, if that was gonna happen. I didn't know if he was gonna love people and 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 you know. And when I tell you, my mother-in-law was here like for the Fourth of July and for a while, um, and he just he was so in love in love with his grandma. Um, she's had a, she's built a really dope bond with him since he was born. So now, as soon as she come downstairs, whatever, he, he'll wait right there and just be like asking him to asking her to pick pick him up and then she'll pick him up and then he'll be like caressing her face and look staring at her like oh my god oh obsessed obsessed um so to the women that that have to get up and and go to work every day um and leave the baby or put the baby in um daycare god bless you like i know that i know that that's not easy like i i can do a photo shoot for two hours and when I see my baby after that, I am, I feel guilty. I feel like, oh my God. And he's going like, oh, like he's, he can't say it, but he's like pushing his little, you know, body up for me to hold him. It's just so cute. So to the women out there that do that and have to go to work and stuff. Okay. So I, I can't wait. I, I have no more time. Um, I have to do what I have to do. And this is very important, but I'm going to fuck. Now, give me a second, two seconds to... To to freeze to to screenshot this and say I'm gonna send it to you, and then I'm gonna have to read it off your phone. Something.
things that I didn't ask. Okay, so y'all give me, give me 60 seconds. Now, before I do what I, is there anybody on here? I don't see anybody like that wants me to add them. Um, okay, anyway, so while that happened, while that's happening, Um, and shout out to Mac. Oh, hi, Jamil. Yes, I saw that you texted me the other day. Um, okay, so let me say what I got to say before I do this, to, you know. Um, Whenever you are an artist and you work with someone, you want to feel like, oh my God, hold on one second. It's right. Okay. Oh, what? Um. That was Drake. He said he's at the airport, so he ain't fucking with us tonight. I should have added him earlier. But anyway, so look, whenever you work with somebody, you want to um, feel like it's a, it's a dope bond and that afterwards it would be great if you guys kept like, kept like that, gen that genuine, you know, camaraderie for each other because, because, um, like that would that would be dope like you know what i'm saying like why would people work together and then and then after they work together they don't have like a rapport um some sometimes what what ends up happening is that it kind of feels like People, people, hmm. let me say this right. People will love you when it's beneficial, right? That's a lot of times what it feels like. And them force, I ain't talking in, in circles, child. Bye. And if one of the barbs want to go live, let me know, because I will cut y'all all the way out. Because I got something to say. Um, and the private barb said, say it, just speak your truth. I am. Um, people will love you when it's beneficial how does the how does the line in that song go tay and put in pills and potions please pull up that song tay and get to that line so i can remember how it goes yeah i want to remember exactly how i said it in pills and potions and that was how many years ago that i said it um it was many years ago and give me one of my cups of ice, please. I want my ice. Oh, <laughs> people will love you and support you when it's beneficial. I'm going to forgive. I won't forget, but I'm going to dead the issue. Soon as you out of niggas' lives is when they start to miss you. They see you doing good. Now it's kind of hard to dish you. Niggas be sick when they can't, when they remember all the bad they wished you. Niggas be mad when they can't come and live lavish with you. Drop a motherfucking bomb. Drop a motherfucking bomb. 
You know why? Because because and as a matter of fact, my favorite line in that song is all the bridges you came over don't burn that yet. Don't burn that yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, we gonna get into some motherfucking things. We gonna get into some motherfucking things. We getting there. I ain't calling nobody else. I ain't adding nobody else. We about to get into some motherfucking things. Because I've had so many people say to me, not my fans, but just like people behind the scenes too. They'll be like, yo, um, you 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 got too nice. Like I said this in a, in one of my verses too, like I nicened up or something like that. And I guess I guess eventually everyone nicens up because you know, like what what's the point, right? But at the same time, sometimes people take your kindness for weakness. So a lot of times you got to go back to that energy. And it's sad. I've seen and watched that in professional and personal life. And personal life. People, people I've done the most for. People I've given the most to. I pull up the bank statements of what I've given them, and I'm like, oh my God, that could have gone into my son's college fund. That could have gone into my grandchildren's college fund. But they think, for some, some reason, they was entitled to that. I, I want to tell y'all this please work hard and do what the fuck y'all need to do in life so that you never become somebody that gets help or gets a gets a look or a co-sign or anything and feel like you could just step on that person after. And by the way, well, let, hold on, hold on, hold on on that. Hold on, hold on. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not going to say that. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because, hold, anyway, anyway, this is, anyway, now hold on. Mama, come over here, mama. Bring this chair real quick. And we gotta make sure, you know. And, and, and by the way, for my fans, I love y'all so much. Y'all so cute. Y'all always know how to make me happy. You always, you know, the, hey, nobody compares to you. I don't give a fuck what anybody says about my fans. I don't care. Like, they're epic. They're, 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 they're supporters. They're my family. I love them. I'll, I could never, I could never thank them enough for the support. But, you guys, when I'm going live or no matter what I'm doing, please don't rush me to release a lead single or a video or an album because trust and believe that it's being prepared in a certain way. It has to be perfected, not only the art, but the, the, the way the art gets to you. That's important. Okay. We're gonna have to scoot on over, baby. Come on, let me see. What's Tia? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, okay, you guys, pr I'm pretty sure y'all may have heard of Bia a little bit. Um, so this is what happened, and I have to get into this really quick. I kept on hearing this song, and I was like, um, oh, my God, I love that song. Yeah. <clears throat> I kept on saying I love this song, right? So... So I go and look into who, who, you know, the artist that did the song. And I was just going to DM the girl and say, yo, I love your song. Keep doing your thing. And I open the DM and I see that the, the girl, quote unquote, had been, had been DMing me.
for three years. Spam me. <laughs> so so I was like so I was like oh my god so I, I I I um I start reading all the all the DMs and I'm just like oh shit this is uh this is crazy so I hit her I said yo I never knew you hit me I was just calling to you know congratulate you because I keep hearing this whole lot of money song and this shit is hard as fuck and what I like about it is that I can see that you put emphasis on every line and it wasn't just about a dope chorus and a beat that, that it, and, and, and I, I don't feel that a lot. Um, I, I used to feel that and that used to be my inspiration for wanting to rap and every fucking line counted. Hold on one second. It's straight. Hold on. Champagne poppy, get off of, get stop texting me, please, and go to your 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 big booty ting. It's a, Drake mm -hmm. gonna text me talking about be a fine. Go <laughs> aren't you dead in your face? Um, okay, so <laughs> so so I go to so I I see she had been DMing me for a while, and I'm like, oh, this is a a real a person who really fuck with me but at the same time ever not everybody but most people be like yo don't ever work with another female rapper again <laughs> right mm -hmm. so i called her oh i mean so i i spoke to her and i and and i said guess what it is what it is wish you the best she said that she um had gotten some requests for her for her, no, I'm reading. I'm reading the comments. Mm -hmm. Somebody, somebody told my Drake finna fly her out. No, it, no, it, no. So, um, so I said, you know, um, what, what's your plan for everything and who you sign with and stuff like that? Just asking her questions, and um, she was like, a few people have reached out to me about the remix, and I didn't realize she was on the song with Russ. And I said, oh my God, that was you? Because Russ had asked me to get on that song. And these are my, this is what I said to Russ. This is what I said to Russ. Russ can tell you this. I said to him, Russ, the song is hard, but I do not want to get on it because who, who, what, whoever the girl is on it killed it. And I was so sad about that. About and I don't, and I said to him, you don't need me on the song. I want to be on a song that needs it. It doesn't need it. Shorty body the shit, right? So that's what ended up happening. So now I let like, I don't know, a week or two go by and she and we spoke and she was like, and I didn't, you know, write a verse. She was like, I would be honored if you if you out on a remake, da da da. But I wanted, but I wanted it to be organic with her and I didn't want her to feel like she had to, you know. So I just let it let some time go, maybe like a week or two, and then we spoke again and she was like, um, you know, Nikki. A lot of people have reached out to the label. I'm getting a lot of pressure to put certain people on the remix, but I really only want you on the remix. I only wanted you and you or Rihanna as the only two people I want on the remix. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I was like, you know what? Let's let's do it. So she came over to my house in my studio, and we started working. And the first day, I was like, okay, I don't know. Tell them, tell them, tell them. You were like. You you were you didn't she didn't really she was open enough to me but she wasn't all the way open to me on that first day right and I left and I was like okay you know my spirit was a little like I was like damn maybe she doesn't like me like I hope she like me you know and then you hit me back and I came back over and bitch it was history and so <laughs> best friends. <laughs> and so I asked her, hey, do you mind if we do a back and forth on it? Because I've never been able to sit in a room with a, with a female and really like, you know, whatever. And I was like, but I don't want it to be the redundant, the same old thing. Nicki Minaj puts a verse on something. Um, I was like, do you mind if we, if we really take time and make this special and do a, black, a back and forth? Mm-hmm. And Which I will... you made me get all the way together. Yeah. She was like, no, child, that line ain't in it. <laughs> I like, no, I... do you really want to leave it there? Like, yeah, that line, you could do better than that line. Right, right. I was, 
but I didn't. And sometimes you don't know because sometimes people get offended. And I was praying that she didn't. But um, I was like, listen, this got to be epic. I said, because the first thing people going to say is, why Nikki touched that song? That song was fly. That song was ill the way it was. I said, Tobia, I have a different level of pressure when I give her someone's song. Mm -hmm. I can't just say anything. And if I let you say anything, they're going to cuss me out for that too. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but even when there were times that she was in a booth and I was kind of like going a little bit hard. Vocal producing. You do it to... again. Do it again. Do that. Da, da, da. Give me a little bit more. Mm. Yep. Now with a little more attitude. Yep. <laughs> I knew she was going to feel a little way, but I gave her this story about Kanye West and doing Monster. I was like, you know what? Monster became my most, you know, critically acclaimed verse. And that was not the first verse I wrote. And I'm not afraid to say that. It wasn't. And Kanye told me, go back and rewrite. Yes, the fuck he did. <laughs> and then when I was in the booth, he kept on saying, um, no, do it like this, do it like this. And I'm just sitting there like, no. And I cussed him out and left the studio and, you know, do, did all that fun stuff. <laughs> but, you know, he, he wasn't letting up. He like, oh, we're going to get this right. And then I remember after I did the, the verse, he put it together and he took certain, certain parts. And, he, and I was like, no, because he was like, I like the growling part. And I'm like, I hate that. I just had to let it go. I just had to trust that this man who I looked up to so much, who asked me to the studio, I can't disrespect or violate this man by saying no. You know what I mean? I know better. I had to let this man be the genius that he is. Mm -hmm. That's why I thanked you when I got home because I was like, nobody really gives me that much constructive criticism. So. I took it in and I was thankful for it. It definitely wasn't like somebody, it didn't feel like somebody was trying to change my artistry. It felt like, like, I just want the best song. Let's get the best song we could get. Yeah. And we were, we did that shit like together. We sat there, minds together and yeah. pinned those verses ourselves. Like, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I appreciate you so much. I appreciate you having me to be a part of this moment with you because you didn't need it. You, I, like I'm sorry, but like what I wanted to, what the what was important that I needed to say was that that's like not happening anymore. Um, so many people are hitting me like, yo, what, where, where, you know, female rap is, you know, where, where the, where the bars and where, you know, where are the, oh shit, that was hot, or oh shit, I didn't get that line, and you know what, what happened? So I was excited that she cared about that as much as I did. And then I was able to show how much of a weirdo I am to care about it that much. <laughs> but anyway, so, hey, let me see your fadon, because I got a couple questions to ask you. So now, you guys, this, this song is dropping in 15 minutes. But before we go, I wanted to ask her a couple questions, because in case you didn't know her, for you to get to know her a little bit. And we just going to rapid fire. You can't not answer questions. Do I have to answer like a certain amount of time? So can I think about it first? Or can I was just answer really fast? You, no, no, you can think about it. Okay. Oh, so I asked that question already. Who did you originally want on the remix? Oh, but you know what? How did you feel when, when Rihanna posted a video walking to your verse on the Russ record? That was like probably one of my my best feelings ever because you know when you when you're a fan of somebody but genuinely like you respect them you like them and you value their taste level when they do some shit like that it's like it's a different type of stamp because their their taste level is already so high like All right because everybody paid attention when we when Rihanna posted that video mm -hmm. everybody was like wait who is this bitch and what is that song shout out to Ree shout out to Ree um. I'm eating my lipstick off. Okay. <laughs> um, who have you written for in the past? I don't think people know that you are a writer for others. You've written for others. Um, so I've done a couple songs. I did a song for Camila Cabello. Um, I had a little big song with J Balvin and Pharrell. Um, but I've just, I've written, I can't even remember right now. I've but you always, were doing that though. Like you were writing stuff and sending it as well. Yeah, I always sent references out like, Tons of people, I just, people hit me up like, do you have rap references? And I just send them out. Mm. We ain't going to talk about the people who asked her for rap references. A lot of people ask me for rap references because I got that pan baby. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't going to talk about that. 
We ain't gonna we ain't gonna get into that. Should I ask you a question? Nope. No. Okay. <laughs> I gotta finish my question. Did you finish your question? Then, okay, okay, then we okay. gotta drop this on. Boom. Okay. Um. What what male rapper do you want to work with the most right now? I love you, Big Sean. Um. Okay, I got two. Okay. Can I say quickly? Both? Yep. Okay. Um. And like equally, I I like their their music like so fucking good. Like I like. Roddy Rich and Drake's music for men right now. Those are the only two guys I really like, really want to collab with. She like other male rappers, but those are the two she want to collab with right right, right now because she right. got ideas. Yeah, I got ideas like on deck. Yes. Um, <laughs> do you feel other female rappers will be happy for you about this collab? And and will they both all post tweets saying congratulations, Leah? <laughs> um, I do. I do think other female rappers will be happy for me because I'm a, I'm a cheerful person. Like I've I've cheered on a lot of other people and I played the background and didn't have a problem waiting my turn. Wow. So I feel like you know I've learned how to be happy with other people's success. Mm. So I expect people to do that for me too because like it's my I'm having a moment too. Let me have mine. Let her have her moment. This is her moment. <laughs> and you, oh God, don't make don't make me cry, child. No. Don't cry. Good cries. Good cries. Because you, you deserve it. But I can't. I don't got a lot of time. But hold on. Okay. Um, do you think anyone will feel like you didn't deserve it? Isn't that funny? I didn't, I didn't remember I put that. But that's what I just said. And do, do you think anyone will feel you didn't deserve it? And what's your response to people who are going to say, why she got a feature? Because you know I already get that. I, I get that all the time. I don't know why people think they can you ask me that. my responses? Yes. Girl, fuck you. Ooh, uh, <laughs> where my bombs at? Where my bombs at? <laughs> oh, okay. Now, <laughs> now you can't, you can't not answer this question. Oh my God! Why you, are you question? You, you feel can't, like that? You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't not answer any of these questions. I got butterflies from your questions. Okay, like, hey, good. Okay. Fuck Mary Kill. And yet have to answer. No, me. I can't. Take hold that dog. No, 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 I can't. I can't. I, you, you have no, to. No, 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 no. That's I what don't, I cannot do. I don't. Listen, this is a game. This is a game. Kill, this kill, is not, kill. This is not. No, I got to go home to him, to an Aries. Kill, 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 sweetie. And I have to go upstairs <laughs> to an Aries, Jeb. You're going to answer No, I'm, I'm killing, I'm killing No, plus, plus you got, look at, no. So listen, let me tell you this. Whoever you got to go home to, has to understand, because I was, you know, I've always, I've always been a relationship, relationship girl. But I had to, when I went on the radio stations, mm -hmm. I answered questions. Because, look, it's not it's not really you and your vagina. This is a game. Now, pretend you, you know what? Pre do it for me. Act like you're answering these questions for Onika Tanya Mirage. And act like I just landed from Pluto and I have no body. <laughs> Who would you want me to fuck? Girl, I will come pick you up. <laughs> you being corny. You being corny. All right, just ask it, but I, I can't it's make for any me. promises. It's for me, not your vagina. I No, 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 it's not for your vagina. Listen to me. It's not for your vagina. And and boyfriend watching, I love I you. I know he's on and the she line. she loves you. No, 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 listen to me. I'm going to do this. She loves you and respects you but she can't she can't do this she can't this is her first Indian record she gotta do this let me have fun fuck out of here ah! all right let me okay. see the question let me see the question now because i gotta because i gotta be honest with you too. They, none of them might be my Mina. type i'm very spicy Mina. wait hold on okay, I mean, hold hold the 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 right. Right. okay all right <laughs> fuck marry kill for me for you? For me. For me. Oh, for so you? So it's not for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I can do that. Okay. Um, because my husband knows I have the most respect for him, so he know. Yeah. You guys are married, too. Drake, I'm not married yet. Drake, future, young thug. Oh. All right. Well, I would say... I would say maybe for you, marry... Uh, Drake because you have a great friendship with him and you gotta marry your best friend but I will also say um, marry Young Thug because he's a Leo and his birthday is August 16th so he's very loyal Young Thug and me are like the same person so 
I would I would definitely kill future only because Ooh, on just, Ooh, just on this. Ooh, just Ooh. on this. No disrespect, future. It's all love game. <laughs> I just I just in this lineup, I'm just going by what I know. Baby, baby, and look, what you I gotta know, be quiet. You gotta be quiet. Okay. <laughs> your, mic, your mic would've got cut, baby girl. Your mic would have your mic would have got cut. I'm just radio. giving you, you my reason. So y'all listen, it, I might have a new home for Queen Radio. <laughs> I can't tell y'all right now, but but baby girl, your mic would have definitely been cut. Now we got ten minutes before this song comes out. Whole lot of money. Be a featuring Nicki Minaj. Okay, forgive me, future. The goat. I'm still featuring. Hold on, it. you didn't answer the question. What was it? Fuck. Marry kill. Mm -hmm. In order for us to get through the questions and for you to answer my questions, you gotta answer this one before we go. And then if you don't answer the questions, the song ain't coming out. Okay. For me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, no. For me. I just did. No, you said to marry. I said okay. You so said marry Drake. Marry Drake. Fuck Young Thug and kill Future or swap Drake and Young Thug. I just can't figure that one out yet. <laughs> I'll need you to. I, need I just you, I need like, you to work on being decisive. No indecisive on Queen Radio. Okay, okay. Mary Thug. What? Mary Thug because he's a Leo. He's loyal. That's what I would do. But okay, so Mary Thug. Fuck Drake. In that situation. Cut the mic. Cut her mic. Cut her mic. Cut her mic. Cut her, mic. <laughs> her final answer is. Marry Thug. Fuck Drake. Kill future. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, I'm not done. I'm not done. And I come say this, I'm not done in, 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 um, in, in Spanish. You're not done. <laughs> you're not done? Oh, you Spanglish? <laughs> Bitch, get the fuck out of here. Come say um, bilingual. Oh, okay. <laughs> But it gotta be the real. It's okay. very exciting. All right, look. <laughs> now, fuck Mary Kill. Okay. For me. Okay, okay. Okay. Little baby, little Dirk, the baby. And you can't. No, you gotta answer. Listen, look okay, at what time is. We got eight minutes. No, 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 I'm talking about okay. You gotta ask my question. We gotta little, go. I ain't little gotta baby, talk. little Dirk. But you know what? They all taken. I can't. No, no. They, it's no. And, and game, I listen, no, no. It's no disrespect. It's no disrespect, and all of these, and all of their women, I respect and yes, have nothing but love and have nothing but love and respect for. So I want this is just a game. I want to make that very clear. Okay, this ain't got. I like that. That was noble of you, girl. Look, <laughs> they whether I said it or not, they know they ain't getting my punani. <laughs> so, um, no, but listen, and Barb's ain't nobody asked y'all a comment. Bye, y'all. They say. <laughs> <laughs> baby Dirk and who's the other one? Little baby, little Dirk and the baby and the baby. Um, see, somebody says she's overthinking it. Bia, in seven minutes the song is gonna come out, so they get in the fuck up okay. with live, and you still gotta get, ask me. My Mar question. Mary, uh, Mary, uh, Mary Dirk, you little baby and the baby. Yeah, we got two minutes. Okay, kill kill the kill the baby and go with little baby. I, I don't know. I don't know. So wait, <laughs> so you said marry Dirk, mm -hmm. fuck little baby, and kill the baby. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, that's the final answer. She yeah. that's the that, that, that was the final Yeah, this is like pulling teeth at the dentist. Because <laughs> I just I'm trying to envision it and I just don't I don't know how I would envision it. I wouldn't pair that. And be a, in the game I overthink. Yeah, blood blood overthink. Okay, man, I do that no more. Oh, never speak that in, uh, accent again. <laughs> Men not do that no more. What is your sign? What's your sign? Leo. August 16th, I tell you. Super loyal. Mm, I know. <laughs> Leo child. I know, Leo. <laughs> okay. But, yeah. But listen, by, by, by the way, by the way, we love uh, the baby. And we love future. Yeah. <laughs> so listen. <laughs> R&B version Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, quickly, Bia, we have five minutes. Okay, bitch, you wait. You got All right, I'm gonna go fast. I'm, I'm just gonna wrap it to this. You make them give, up give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Okay, Chris Brown. And by the way, like I said, we we love and, and and adore and appreciate everybody's marriage and and and, and relation. This is just hypothetical. Chris Brown, The Weeknd, and Gunna. Let me, let me eat my eyes, bitch. I kill, can't. Kill, kill gonna marry the weekend. Fuck Chris Brown. Mm. That was fast, right? Mm. 
My bad, girl. I don't know why it's like. Kill down. Now we we down. I feel so bad saying and kill. Fuck like, like ah, why kill? Like, why not just. <laughs> and fuck the crit. Nah. <laughs> okay. Um. International things. Drop the blood clot bomb. The blood clot. What? I just heard my husband. He probably like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, hey, Sandy. I love you, Sandy. Yeah. Sandy. <laughs> yes. Okay. Fuck Mary Kill. Whiz Kid. Oh. International things, Whiskit, DeVito, Burna Boy. I don't know what they look what they all look like. <sighs> That's unfortunate. I'm sorry. That's unfortunate. <laughs> oh man. <sighs> but you know what, babe? Sorry. I should have I should have told you that. You should have put me yeah, up yeah, pics. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. I don't I can't okay. answer that. I don't right, know I'm what sorry, they look I'm like. Sorry. You're right. Um <laughs> we, we gotta ask like the reggaeton version. Mm -hmm. it's like, <laughs> no, no, mind your, mind your business. Okay, mm. you got it. You got it. Shout out to Rico Dana. Shout out to Southside Jamaica motherfucking Queens. We in the motherfucking building. You know what I'm saying? I, see, this is the thing. I always run out of time. I, I gotta do a I gotta do I gotta do a subsequent live because it's a couple things and a couple hoes and then I gotta motherfucking expose. You see how I made that rhyme? Uh, okay. Yes, you about to do it. We got two minutes. Oh, blood clot. All right. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Y'all want blood clot comments? Y'all want blood clot comments? Drake, don't comment on the live if you're not going to go live. I just sent you a request. <sighs> because when Drake heard the remix, and, you know, I always say he don't act like that about stuff. He really be... He, he'll really tell me, like, well, he won't say shit, like, you know, and I know what that means. But when he heard this record, this remix, he, his actual words, his first words was, oh, this shit is out of here. Um, he you know I love Champagne Poppy. Okay, now you got to answer this one. Fuck, Mary Kill, Daddy Yankee, Bad Bunny, or Romeo Santos? Mary Romeo, Mary Daddy Yankee, um... Kill Bad Bunny and fuck with Romeo Santos. Why you have to put the little fake tongue bone on just because they Spanish? <laughs> Romeo Santos. Romeo Santos. Um, Bad Bunny and... Bad Bunny? Bad Bunny. Okay, and now listen. Daddy Yankee. This is your... Um, ja, 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 ja. You got two more questions. <laughs> Wait, you got... At midnight, Nicki Min uh, Bia featuring Nicki Minaj. Bia featuring Nicki Minaj. Whole lot of money will be out everywhere, and we love you and thank you. But but hold on, I need y'all to give me five minutes because this is important. Top, who are your top three female MCs of all time? Oh, okay. Top three female MCs of all time, and I'm not just saying this because you're right here. I'm gonna say you. Okay. I'm gonna have to say Foxy. And I like MIA because when I was growing up, she was just a, a big female rapper that impacted me. Wow. So that's just why I always say that. I love her too. I, I love, love her that. too. I love her, her creativity. Uh, now, what is your nationality real, real quick? And, and, and um, where are you from and where were you born? Real quick. That was my last question. You could do yours real quick. So I'm half Puerto Rican, half Italian, and I was born in Boston. Well, in Massachusetts. Let me just be clear. But, you know, I lived all around Boston. So, yeah, I'm from Massachusetts. Okay, because the reason why I have reached out to you is because when you was like the bodega and stuff, I don't know why, it just made me feel mad happy. And I was um, it, I was envisioning New York bodegas. So yeah. that's another reason why I reached out. Because my dad is from New York. So I lived in New York equally as much as I would say I lived in Boston, like, childhood okay but i just claim boston because you know that's what shaped me like where you grow up as a teenager i feel like that's where you are from you right okay quickly rapid fire your questions and i'm gonna answer it because we got 60 seconds Come can on. you pass me that phone like um my questions are it's okay i will get it done really quick okay i'm gonna ask you something i've been dying to ask you and i know maybe some of the people have been dying to know some of these questions too okay yeah okay what's the best the biggest misconception you think people have about you well, that I'm a bitch unprovoked. The other misconception that people have about me is that, <laughs> is that, um, is that, um, 
I've had uh, my nose done to the point where I ain't going to say the rapper's name. He going to come in the other day. I'm finishing doing my makeup. He going to be looking at my nose. I said, boy, get out my nose. He, I, I, I've never had my nose done. Um, and I'll tell you why. First of all, I don't, I'm scared to, I've always been scared of, um, of, um, of surgery on the face mm. because I just never think for women of color, at least that it adds, I feel like it, well, it often takes away and looks, ends up looking weird. Um, so that's, so that's another, that's one of the misconceptions. Go ahead. Okay. Another question is, what do you want to see more of in music right now? Bars. Next Bars. question. Okay. How do you, um, what's about, what's the most valuable lesson you learned in your career? That's a good one, right? Yeah. Don't stop to look back. Mm, that's a good one. Okay. You should write that on a quote. Tattoo it. it, it, it. <laughs> <laughs> Drake said it the other day when he was here. We were talking about something. Okay. I know imitation is flattery, but does it ever get annoying? Yeah. Sometimes. I think people want to hear you say that because I guess like people, people, I'm sure people want to know like, how do you feel about having so many sons? And you know, <laughs> like what, what do you, what would you say to your sons if you could tell them like a piece of advice or something like in terms of originality? Go to your room. And let mama handle it. Next. Oh, next question. Okay. Um, what would you tell your younger self? You're beautiful. You don't need all that makeup. Oh, I love that. I'm about to go take my shit off. And, okay, what did you think about me when you first met me? The, there were two impressions, the first day and the second day. The, but, but there was an impression on the live, which got you to my, my house, which, which no... Body, can't get to my house. The impression that, that you gave me on the live was already so genuine and sweet. And me seeing that you had been DMing me for a few years, it touched it touched my heart. Cause I was like, for me to have reached out to her just to say, hey, thank you for caring about every line and making every line dope. Not every line has to be a metaphor either. Like I don't think people people think when I say dope, like it's a metaphor. No, every line don't gotta be a metaphor. But it just it was like the lines were fresh to me. It felt fresh for hip hop. And um and so to know that you like had fucked with me like that, it was like, oh my God, let's let's figure this out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's figure this out. And then the first day when, you know, like you said, at the end by the end of the first day, I was like, okay, let me see. Cause I've been hesitant not knowing if I should work with female rappers. And there are some stories that I want to tell about that because you guys don't know certain things and I see certain comments that y'all make and I can tell y'all don't know, but we don't have time today. And today is about Bia. Today is about Bia. That's all. That's all. That's all. So, mm. so, and, but, but by the second day, um, I told you came by yourself mm -hmm. and we were able to bond and I was like, oh, okay. We it, had real, real, real girl moments, by the way. Like, I just want everybody to know, like, I was nervous and a little scared coming back the second day because you hear things or you might be scared. You know what I'm saying? You don't know how somebody's going to perceive you. And it wasn't like that. Like it, it felt, I left with, I felt like a big sister and it felt like I just wanted people to know that, you know, I had this experience and I wanted everybody to, to, you know, if you have somebody that you look up to, don't, don't be scared and to, you know, even reach out or just tell them how you feel in a genuine way, because you just don't know how they might need to hear that too. You know what I'm saying? Wow. That's real. That's mm -hmm. some real ass shit. Yeah, so by that second day, I was like, oh my God, this bitch is going to be in my life forever because it's beyond the music. I was like, you know what? Send me some shit, bitch. Let me see if we can put you on my album. And and, and I don't, I, you know, anyway, that's neither here nor there. Go ahead. What's your, how many more questions you got? I think you, I think that was really my best question. Okay. <laughs> um, the song, A uh, Whole Lot of Money. If you got one more good one, we can go. You got a good one, are you ready? Ready to throw the song? Yeah, do the song. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Um, y'all, I fucking love you, my fans, and everybody that tuned in. God bless you. May may God really bless you. You didn't have to come here. You didn't have to give us your all your attention, your energy. But God bless you guys. I love you so much. And to be a blessings on the future of your career. Thank you for being a genuine sweetheart. I don't give a fuck what anybody got to say about Bia. Okay? 
Oh yeah, no, I want to let everybody know I don't give a <laughs> fuck. So don't, if I see some, you're getting blocked. If it ain't what the fuck, I'm gonna be good. I got it. Because y'all don't know people behind the scenes, and that's what the fuck y'all gonna motherfucking learn. You gonna learn a day. But anyway, you guys, I love y'all. Um, it's a whole lot of money. Bia featuring Nicki Minaj and our names together, our boyfriend and girlfriend name, our dating name is Barbia. Barbia. So I love you guys so much. I'll go on Twitter and, and you guys let me know how, how what you feel about the song. Uh, you can comment under my last Instagram post. Show Bia some love on her um, social media. I got, I'm about to go and follow Bia. Everybody go and follow Bia. I didn't want to follow her because I didn't want give to give away the surprise. So everybody mm -hmm. go and follow her and tell her how you feel. And you guys let me know how you feel. God bless you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.